You can steal a kiss from me if you promise to give it back. You can steal a kiss from me, but don't take my wine or my lipstick or my Dollar Tree back. Hi, it's me on the kitchen floor with my spices. So, this is my thing. Not overwhelming, right? I just grabbed my spices out. I'm not gonna do the whole cabinet. There's baking stuff in there. It's just like, I'm just gonna tackle my spices, declutter them. I won't throw away anything, um, cause they're spices and they last a very long time. I will give them to my best friend. She cooks a lot. Um, but I've noticed I use barely any of my spices. I am not a fancy chef or even a normal cook at that, at that matter at that matter. I'm not an English teacher either, obviously. Um, but I find myself just cooking kind of the same basic meals. Um, we eat pretty healthy, but my husband's the same way. He doesn't like to eat a lot of different flavors. We're kind of bland eaters, so we don't really spice it up. So I have all these spices, which are lovely, but pine nuts. My mom brought these over for Thanksgiving. I was like, I don't like pine nuts. They're here. She just left them here. She's like, you can keep them just in case. Mm -mm, just in case. No, just in case. We're, I'm going to do, I actually wrote a list of decluttering tips. I'm going to do a video this week. Um, and one of those tips is the just in case things. Just get, get rid of them. Get rid of them. They're the worst. This is poultry seasoning. I do use this on chicken. I'll keep this on that side. Ground allspice. Yes, that comes in handy. Nutmeg, I do use that in the fall. Rosemary, oh my gosh, I love rosemary. That's one of my favorites. Obviously these are like on the top for a reason. Ground cinnamon, yes. I also have a big thing I use for if we get ants, by the way. I do it on the perimeter of the house, so that's there too. Chili powder, yes, that's a pretty basic one. Minced garlic, I use this in lots of stuff. I love minced garlic sesame seed. My daughter's allergic, so bye-bye. Won't be cooking with that. Ground ginger. On occasion, um, I'll keep that one. Italian, yes, I use this all the time, making my own spaghetti sauces, and also if you put this and apricot marmalade or apricot preserves on chicken and let it cook, oh my gosh, it's so good, so good. Okay, there's some more Italian. Herbs de Provence, nope, never even knew I had that. Probably my mom brought it over, maybe I'll give it back to her. Ground cinnamon, just, uh, oh, I got a bunch of these ground cinnamons. I think, oh, I got a Harris Teeter one, huh? Oh, that's cumin. You know, I don't really use this. Um, I'm gonna give that one away. I'm gonna keep one of the hamburger grill mates. I don't use them a lot, but I have. Black pepper, yes, of course. Everybody needs their pepper. Um, and I used to have these alphabetically, oh, bacon bits, yes, but these do have an expiration. These are August, so I'm going to keep those. Minced onions, yes, yes, yes. So I use more than I thought, but there are definitely some I don't. Uh, this is another ground cinnamon, so I have three ground cinnamons, and these were huge from the Dollar Tree. So I don't cook with those ones, it wouldn't matter, I would, but I just know those are the ones that I use for around the... Thing. Basil, yes, I love basil. I'm Italian, so cilantro is another one I do. I use this in California tacos with white rice, and I use this in both, and I just love it. Um, oh, I have two black peppers. Do you ever do that? I like a recipe or something, or I just am like, oh, I need to fill up the pepper, and I buy something, and I already have one. Well, it's not like pepper goes really bad, right? Cyan pepper. No. Isn't it cyan? That's the color. Cayenne? So crazy. Party picks. Those are fun. Okay. Now, these are the ones that like came with my wedding spice rack, you know, so I got it for me for my wedding. And these are more of what I don't use. Bay leaves. No. Fennel. My aunt has told me to use these for cramps, and I never have. I'm going to maybe try that this month. I'm due in a couple days. TMI, yes. Mint, I never use mint. Rosemary, yes. Thyme, yes. I actually 
want to use this in um, chicken soup. My neighbor made me chicken soup last week and it had a lot of time and it was good. Seasoning salt, yes. Pizza seasoning, I'm gonna give that one. We always make our own Italian type stuff or use the Italian seasoning. Marjoram, no. Dill weed, no, I'm showing you like you don't know what the spices look like. Here's the basil can. Oh, by the way, what my goal is, is to empty these into bags and give them to whoever and keep these jars and put all of like these guys in these. I'm hoping to fit them all in here. I don't know if that's possible, but then have some backups. Oops, so I have to empty those out into bags. Sea salt, I didn't even know I had this. I actually bought a big thing of sea salt. But that's a good one to have parsley. So a lot of these are like doubles, and I just don't look at these. Um, so, let's see, Italian seasoning. That's like a full one. I really didn't even know that's in here. Isn't that horrible? That's when you know you have too much stuff. Like I straight up didn't even know. I just knew I didn't reach for some of these. I'd look at them and be like, coriander. Not using that. Cilantro. Yes. But also I might empty these out because those are years old. So maybe I will get rid of those. Celery salt, I've never used. Chives, I've never used. Herbs de Provence, there it is again. Oregano, but it's older. We have so much oregano. And then savory, it's haven't used. So, can you do, uh, uh. it's annoying because this camera, there we go. So there's the pile I'll get rid of and give away, and then there's the keep, so I'm going to kind of condense it and then I'll be back. I'm so excited. I just made a decision to give all these type of bottle ones to my best friend because she goes through spices like crazy, and I wanted to have them like all similar and looking pretty and I could label them, but I have to be honest with myself, and so do you. Am I the type that's going to keep refilling them? No. Like, I like simple, quick, efficient ways of doing things. And especially, like I did that when I had a job, I got out at four and I had no kids. Like I maybe kept things slightly more organized, but it's hard and I'm like now, this is ideal for me. Oh, just a two layer thing full of spices and when you buy it, you just put it in there. You don't have to, you know, cause like what if you buy one of the bigger ones cause they're on sale and then it doesn't all fit in there. And then, the, you know, first world problems, but really the problems I do not want to have. Um, so yeah, this I think I got from Container Store, by the way, this Lazy Susan, but I love this and I can put the small ones on top, the larger ones on bottom, and they hold plenty for me. Probably for most people, they would hold enough. And um, I just have one place, one place, like with like, right on there and it just feels better. I don't have a million spices staring me in the face when I know I use, what was that, a quarter of them maybe, a third of them. <laughs> um, so do think about when you're going through this process, do think about things like that. Are you, if you want it to look, look nice and oh, I'll get these containers that match perfectly and this, you know, like containers for nuts. I love how that looks, how people put like all their pasta in a clear container, you know, and they have matching containers for nuts and pasta and flour. I tr like I actually got a couple of those and I was not using them or it was kind of like, oh, I have to go empty the flour into the flour thing. For me, that's just me. I know like I feel like type A personality. I'm type B that wants to be type A. I feel like, so I just feel like my personality, whether it's type A or B or whatever part of my personality, just doesn't want to waste the time doing that stuff, even though it might look pretty in the end, I can still have an organized looking cab uh, pantry, and we'll get to that, without it having to look Pinterest perfect. And um, part of that is also just doing what is efficient for you. Some people like to see everything. Some people like to have it covered, like bins covering stuff so you don't see the clutter, you don't see it. For me, a lot of times, if I don't see it, I'm going to forget about it. So it depends on your personality, really, but think about those things for yourself when you're going through this decluttering and kind of, I know we're waiting for big organization after we declutter, but as you're putting stuff back, keep it in mind that, okay, am I going to actually fill these guys up every time I get a spice? Will that be beneficial to me? 
Will it make me feel better to do that? If yes, do it. If not, get your old little lazy Susan and just fill it up like so. I like it and I think it looks organized enough. And that's all I have for you today. Goodbye, spices. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Name that band. Give you a hint. Spice. Declutter deuces.